everybody. I hope you're all doing okay at home. We're all missing you lots and lots. But until we can see you again, we've got another book for you. And today's story is called The Squirrels Who Squabbled. And it is by Rachel Bright and Jim Field. Let's have a look inside. Oh, some beautiful illustrations in here. In a towering forest where summer had been, the cool air bit fresh and the mosses grew, grew green. And as autumn edged in and the sky raged red, the sleepiest creatures got ready for bed. While up in the tree swung a fighty young squirrel, who everyone knew as spontaneous Cyril. Now most foresty folk had seen through their needs, through the plentiful months of mushrooms and seeds. They built up their stores so they'd be all well fed, through the frostering of winter that glittered ahead. But Cyril, he lived in the now and here, he'd adventured and parted his way through the year. Though his cupboards were empty, his hollow was bare, he hadn't a mouthful of food anywhere. But wait, what's that? Over there, take a look. A single pine cone wedged in a nook. He squealed with delight, and for a very good reason, for inside were the very last nuts of the season. But Cyril wasn't alone. There were more hungry eyes. Yes, plan ahead Bruce had his sights on the prize. Though he'd gathered a mountain of bounty hard fought, Bruce was convinced he was one pinecone short. I simply must have it, he wistfully cried as he dreamt of the fresh, juicy pine nuts inside. So as Cyril set off on his way to the ground, Bruce, he was also last pinecone bound. They sprinted and scurried with no time to gamble. They scratched at the bark in their scampering scamble. But their panic and haste shook the tips of the spruce and the pinecone, it trembled and then it came loose. Both squirrels gave chase at a lightning pace. This was the start of a wild, nutty race. It's mine, shouted Cyril. No, mine, hollered Bruce. You don't stand a chance. Give up. It's no use. I'm hungry, cried Cyril. This cone is not yours. Stay back, shouted Bruce. This cone's for my stores. It winged over bushes and flew through the air. It binged on the nose of a slumbering bear. It bounced over boulders, then came to a stop. It teetered and wobbled and quivered and plop. Both squirrels followed. <gasps> the water was fast. Would they learn they needed each other at last? But each was intent on how he could win, so they didn't quite notice the birds sweeping in. Cyril and Bruce, they watched in dismay as their comb disappeared up, up, up and away. Come back, shouted Cyril. They're our nuts, exclaimed Bruce. But all hope was gone. It was simply no use. And meanwhile they drifted right up to the ledge. Greed, it was driving them over the edge. Cyril and Bruce, they had taken a fall. They were paying the price for wanting it all. They squandered their chances to team up and share. Would their nutty young hopes simply end in despair? Bruised and bedraggled, they swept past dry land. Cyril grabbed at a branch with a trembling hand. Catching Bruce with the other, he heaved and he huffed, and he dragged him to safety with panting and puffs. They stared at the sky, quite lost in deep thoughts, until Bruce looked at Cyril and... let out a snort. How silly we are, he proclaimed with a jiggle. How greedy I've been, stuttered Bruce with a giggle. We shall change from today, may the squabbling cease. We should celebrate, seeing as we're both in one piece. From that day and forward, they made a great pair. They were 
gathered together and found they could share. Yes, Cyril and Bruce, they knew in the end. The best thing to share is a laugh with your friend.